name is Trenton Doyle Hancock, and this is my show at James Cohan Gallery. It's called, And Then It All Came Back to Me. Then It All Came Back to Me is the name of a piece that's actually in the other room. It's a little portrait, and it's sort of me merging with one of my past characters, the mound. Now I'm the main character, and the other characters are there, but they have dissolved and are now becoming sort of background. I just started to reevaluate what it's, what's even por important in a, in a painting project, like what are the things that I actually want to deal with that are, have a direct effect on my, uh, the way I move through space and the way that people see me or the way I see the world. Here we have a painting called The Den. It's based on my grandmother's floor tile. I have a very strong connection to that pattern and to those colors. I think I first started drawing on that linoleum floor in that back room while she would sit there on the couch and make quilts. Although I wanted to represent this floor tile almost as deadpan as possible, just and not do my normal Trenton Doyle Hancock thing and cut eyeballs into it and do something really weird. It wasn't about that. It was, um, I just wanted to pay homage to uh, a very important motif in my life. This piece is called As You Now Enliven a Test Set an Evil New on USA. All the letters that I cut out from here, I glued back onto this other layer. There's this kind of inbred quality, like the painting is eating itself, which feels like what I do as an artist in my studio. I feel like I'm constantly consuming myself and spitting myself out, and then there's another version of me, and then we battle it out, and whoever wins eats the other one, and so I'm changing. This avatar of myself is all constantly changing. The title of this piece is uh, The Former and the Latter, um, ascension and Ascension. I grew up kind of on construction sites. My stepdad would build houses and there'd be ladders around. I wanted to pay homage to this form that was so important to me growing up. I knew every time I saw that, then my dad was probably around somewhere. With this show, I'm trying to talk about the multifaceted aspect of a self and how the self is, it's a fallacy, like you really can't pin it down. Even from within your own skin, you don't have a full understanding of who you are and there's no way that you ever can because things are always changing. I never sign the work, um, especially that big. That's, uh, that's a new thing. <laughs>